Woo! Alright, you guys, Mike from EAK Crew Productions. Today I'm going to bring you a duel here. I'm going to use my Girga deck. I've had it for quite a while, but seeing as how they just topped uh, YC, or I'm sorry, one YCS Rhode Island. Jesus Christ, you hear that whistle in my voice? By, uh, piloted by Christopher LeBlanc. I thought that uh, I'd go ahead and give you guys a little taste of it because it seemed festive. So this guy's like a lone fire, so you're gonna go ahead and oh no, he's gonna affect Baylor him. Uh, I almost feel like I could still do his effect, but I just I won't. Just because it's a cost attribute. So he's going to go ahead and summon that, and I'm going to go ahead and Fiend's Chain it. Eating up his summon, and stopping his Tsukiyomi from ever doing that terrible, terrible stuff that it does. Because Tsukiyomi's not crazy good this format. This player is most likely playing Gravekeepers. I mean, uh, Gravekeepers can play Effect Valor, and Tsukiyomi is the best in an effect available or in a gravekeeper build so we'll go ahead and assume that he's playing gravekeepers uh, which should mean that he'll have some heavy back row now we did stop it so we're gonna pop this next turn and go for gear girl um, armor then we can set and go looking for an arsenal to turn after really good card is this Gigano MK Two, a lot out of uh, gear good plays didn't use it, but I mean it's like a tour guide pretty much, um, and he doesn't negate the effects of the monsters that he brings out, so um, pretty good. So now we can uh, tribute this card. So he, all right. Man, he is gonna neg hard. Okay. <laughs> um. Wow, I like really misspelled. Anyways, but hey, whatever. Um, and like, I'm, I'm not sure about the whole like, oh, it's a cost thing, like I can just do it anyway, so I'm gonna just let it sit on the field, because I don't, I don't really care, like, he's so neg. And he's saying you can, I don't know why he's dropping the Baylors then, but I, I it's, it just doesn't bother me. I'll look it up later. And he, he's got four cards in my six, like. Like it's it's so fine, especially since like I don't know I don't know dude like oh man like he could draw heavy one of, like he could go heavy storm and he would plus one off of me making it closer but like I don't see that happening like I see him summoning and me warning and I don't know dude or like he's gonna tag and that mirror force which like. I like the plus off of my mirror forces, but it's whatever. You can run two now, so I'm not I'm not in a hurry. See, like that's a one for one, but like I'm I get to draw now. Like oh my god. Uh. Um. So saying both of them would probably be a, an overplay here. But, uh, I don't know. I don't really feel like there's much this guy can do to me right now. But, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm not going to set both anyways. Because, I don't, like, next turn I'm going to plus even harder on him. Like, whew. Oh, he's going to dark hole me. Okay. See, that that's why I didn't set both. But it's like, I don't know, dude. It... Like, look, another set. And I'm just gonna not allow him to plus at all. 
is his, it, like it's constantly going to be his four to my growing population of cards. Like right now, it's four to six. He can summon something and attack enemy, not destroying it, and then like okay, so like now I flip summon, and he has the effect of anyway. That's so funny. Um. God, I almost feel like he could have Gory, so like I don't wanna, but here we go, normal summon. Effect. Um. And we're gonna go ahead and set that one. And attack directly, get some damage in there. See if he drops scores. I mean, I got the warning, so it's not like it's gonna be like crazy nothing. Yeah, I saw the Gores play. Oh, which is pretty good, because uh, we just took him down another card, and I mean, and I have seven. <laughs> so he's at three to, to, to seven now, where before he was four to six. So we've plused a card, and he's negged a card. Um, and this is Girga. <laughs> this is Girga, and I mean, I don't know, he is, uh, I, I like effect of like, because I mean, it stopped me a little bit, but not really, and he just kept nagging, just kept nagging, and he dark hold one for one, like I get it, he didn't want to take damage, because I was going to fuck it, I was going to hit him for a lot, but I mean, he didn't even plus all the dark hole. He just one for one, and like now I know he doesn't have dark hole, so it's like, oh, I'm just gonna summon anything I want. <laughs> and if he sets like two spell trap, you know. Okay, sure, Thunder King. So Thunder King's not even a threat to me right now because I can actually attack with this and and run Thunder King over. So, um. I uh, mean, or not run it over, but point for point, which is, I mean, that's fine with me, but I'm not even going to have to do that. I'm going to attack my D prison it. Man, so now he's 2 to 6. Oh, and I, that's game. <laughs> um, so, oops, flip summon. So we're going to go ahead and say effect here. Search through, and we will grab Arsenal to the hand. Um, I'll go ahead and special summon that guy. Yeah, I would quit too. <laughs> I mean, like here, I'll just finish. I'll just finish the play. One sec. I'll just finish the play here, and we discard that. Search for gear frame, you know, because we haven't even uh, summoned gear frame. And then, I mean, we can just attack with all those and drop limiter. I mean, like, that's ridiculous. Anyways, that's Michael from EAK Crew Productions. Talk to you guys later. Peace. Subscribe, like, comment, everything.